Hello everyone, happy to see you here, welcome back to my channel Hi Mathematics. Today we have a very interesting equation, 4 to the x plus 2 to the x equal to 20. We need to solve this equation for x, so if you have your solution, your answer, you can write your solution in the comments below and then we will check our answers. Okay, so first of all, this 4 can be written as 2 square, so let's start with that. So this 4 we can write as 2 square, okay, so 2 square, but don't forget about this x, because we have x, with this power, yeah, x, plus 2 to the power x, equal to equal to 20. Right now we have 2 to the power 2 uh, to the power x. So there is like a great property, someone called this property as a rule of interchange, so we can easily, if we have a to the power x uh, raised to the power y, we can easily write it as a to the power y raised to the power to the power x. So we can easily swap these uh, powers, yeah? we can easily write this y inside of parentheses and this x outside. It's because a product, because when we have x a to the power x times y, we can easily write it as a to the power y times x. We can easily swap positions because this is multiplication, so this is like a quick, quick proof. Okay, so right now let's do this, let's change these two and this x, uh, we're gonna change it, okay? As a result, we have 2 to the power x inside, and we have 2 outside, so plus 2 to the power x equal to 20. Right now, the basic moment, because we have 2 to the power x, and we have 2 to the power x right here, so we can easily uh, write a substitution, so on the left side, for example, let uh, 2 to the power x is equal to, for example, let's go with the with the t. But one really important moment, t need to be uh, need to be positive because uh, this is our exponential function. Two to the power x is our exponential function, so something like that, like approximately like that. So every time this function is mm, is positive. So this is a few 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 moves, few tips for for this part of substitution. Okay. So as I said before, two to the power x equal to t. So we have t square plus, instead of 2 to the x, we're gonna write t, and this 20, let's write on the left side, so minus 20 equal to equal to 0. Right now, we're gonna solve this, uh, this is a basic quadratic equation, yeah? And this is up to you, how can you solve this? I just wanna solve this question with the basic method of coefficients, so there are, there are a, lot, a lot of different theorems, how can we solve this quadratic equation real quick, but I just wanna solve this question with the basic method, so a equal to 1, uh, b equal to 1 as well, and c equal to minus 20. Right now let's find real quick of a discriminant. So discriminant equal to b square minus 4a, 4ac. Okay, so b square, so 1 square minus 4 times 1, and times uh, we have right here, we're gonna have uh, minus 20, yeah, so as a result, our sign, so this minus and this minus equal to, uh, so we have plus, 1 plus 4 times 20, 80, so we have 1 plus 80, so we have 81, and we can easily say, that, okay, right here we have um, two roots, okay, so as a result, our t first and t second equal to, we have minus b uh, plus minus, square root of discriminant and all over to a. So we know everything, so right now let's let's plug in each of these elements into this spot. Let's do this right now. So we have minus b minus 1 plus minus square root of discriminant square root of 81 and all over 2 times 1. As a result we have minus 1 plus minus uh, square root of 81 equal to 9, 9 and all over, all over two. So right here we have two, uh, two roots, and let's uh, find this root. So the first one, let's go with the positive sign. So t first with the positive sign equal to minus one plus nine over two, which is equal to uh, eight over two, which is equal to four, yeah? And t second with the negative sign. Let's find it real quick. So we have minus one minus nine over two equal to minus 10 over two. Uh, which is equal to minus minus 5. So first, t first, uh, right here, let's write on the left side. Uh, so t first equal to 4, and t second equal to minus 5. But one really important moment, because as I said before, t need to be positive. So if you're talking about real number root, this one, we can reject, but then I'm going to show you how can you find complex root in this part. So basically, if you're talking about real number roots, we reject we reject this uh, part when t equal to minus 5. If we're talking about school, we can easily reject this minus 5. This one is good for us, so t1 equal to 4, but uh, 2 to the x equal to t. So from here we're going to have 2 to the x equal to 4, and from here x is equal to 
this our x first is equal to 2. We're gonna check this root a little bit later, but right now I'm gonna solve this part, because if you're talking about real number root, uh, that uh, our t can't be negative, because t all the time need to be positive, we're gonna we talk about exponential function, but if you want, if you need to solve this question completely, as a result, what do you have? You, you have this type of equation, 2 to the power x, uh, 2 to the power x is equal to minus, uh, 2 to the power x is equal to minus 5. Right now, this 2 to the power x, we can easily write, so 2 to the power x can be written as e to the power natural log of 2 to the power x, or we can write it as e to the power x. So according to log property, this x will come down right here, so we have x natural log 2. So this uh, 2 to the power x, we can write as e to the power x natural log 2, e to the power x natural log natural log 2. This is our 2 to the power x. Minus 5 in terms of in terms of Euler's identity, <clears throat> so I'm gonna write this, let's write it right here, so minus 5, in terms of Euler's identity, we can write in that way, we can write as 5 times e to the power i pi plus 2k pi, pi plus 2k pi, and of course k we are talking about about this. So according to um, uh, Euler's identity, I don't want to prove it, but um, I just want to use this expression. This is in terms of Euler identity. We can easily use this expression. So instead of minus 5, let's write this. 5 times e. So we have 5 times e to the power i pi plus 2k pi times e to the power i pi plus 2k pi. Okay, so we have this expression, and right now we have our imaginary unit, we have our i, so we can easily solve our mm, equation real quick. First of all, let's apply mm, natural log on both sides. As a result, we have natural log of e to the power x natural log 2, x natural log 2, and on the right side we're going to apply so natural log of, of this expression, so 5 times e to the power i pi plus 2k pi, okay, pi plus uh, 2k pi. Okay, right now, this x times natural log 2 will come down right here, according to uh, according to a log property, and in this part, on the right side, we have a log of a product, okay? So when you have log, natural log a times b in parentheses, you can easily write it in terms of thumb, so we can write it as natural log a plus natural log natural log b. So we can easily write it like that. And right now let's split it because we have 5 and times this expression, okay? So we have x times natural log 2, times natural log e equal to natural log 5, natural log 5, plus natural log of e i pi plus 2k pi. So in terms of log property, we can easily split it, <clears throat> we can easily split it like that. Okay, natural log e equal to 1, so on the left side, we're going to have only x times natural log 2, x natural log 2 on the, on the left side. On the right side, what do we have? We have the same thing, we have natural log of 5, so we can't simplify it, we have natural log 5, plus, right here, this power will come down uh, in, in front of it, so we have i pi plus 2k, i pi plus 2k pi, and of course we need to multiply it by natural log e, but natural log e equal to 1. So on the left side, on the right side, we're going to have only this only this expression. But we need to find our x. Uh, x is right here, but we need to multiply both sides by natural log 2. So divide in both sides by natural log, natural log 2. So from here, our x is equal to, we have natural log 5, natural log 5, plus i times pi plus 2k pi, and all over, we can now divide all of this by nature log, nature log 2. And of course, we are talking about k is z, okay, from here, okay, from from this set of uh, set of numbers. We can easily open parentheses, like for better understanding, we can easily write uh, 2k pi i in the beginning, so 2i k pi in the beginning, the next thing, plus i times pi, plus i times pi, plus nature log 5, so in that way we can easily write in that way, and all over natural log, natural log 2. So this is our complex, uh, complex root. So this one, this root is complex, and this root is real number root. So let's write our final answer to this question, and then we can easily check real quick our x equal to 2, for example, yeah? So our final answer to this question, so our answer, we have two roots, x first equal to 2, this is our real number root, and we have second root, so x second equal to this one, 2i k pi plus i pi plus natural log 5 and all over natural log 
nature log two. And this is, is this is our complex complex root. So one real number root and we have one one complex root. Let's check real quick our um, x first equal to two. So check uh, on the right side. So we have in the beginning four to the x plus two to the x equal to equal to 20. You know, a lot of students might be thinking, okay, I can easily solve this question uh, by inspection. So, uh, and you know, this is true. You can easily check real quick x equal to one, x equal to two, but in terms of mass, we really need a solution to this question, yeah? So this is our solution, yeah? So x equal to two, what are we gonna have? We're gonna have four to the power two plus two to the power two equal to equal to 20. As a result, we have 16 plus four, which is equal to 20. So everything is, is great. So our root is absolutely, absolutely correct. We don't need to check this complex one, this complex root, because just imagine instead of this X, we're going to have this expression. So it's a long and complicated thing. We just need to prove that X equal to two is a correct, uh, a correct root to our question. So once more, let's real quick go through the steps. First of all, in terms, uh, instead of this four, we're going to write two. So we have, we're going to have the same base. Second thing, substitution, but T need to be positive, basic quadratic equation. And in the end, we have Mm, really interesting thing because without any problems we can find x equal to 2 in a quadratic equation but this part uh, in terms of school knowledge you can easily reject this part you don't need to solve this uh, uh, this part on the right side you don't need to solve it because every teacher tells you that uh, that uh, when t is positive and need to be uh, when t is negative but need to be positive you just reject this branch but in my on my channel i just want to uh, show you how can we solve this part when uh, when uh, 2 to the x is equal to minus 5. Of course, in terms of school knowledge, this is impossible because this is exponential function. This function does not intersect with the with this constant, with this negative 5. So as a result, what do we have? When we want to prove it, we have 2 to the power x like that, at minus 5 right here on the bottom. Yeah. So in terms of school knowledge, it, it doesn't work. But in terms of our channel, I just want to show you how can we uh, solve this uh, exponential equation, exponential, um, this equation, 2 to the x equal to minus 5. This is my branch. This is my way. How can we solve it according to m? Um, from Ehlers identity you can easily express this like that and of course we can easily say that we solve this question completely because in terms of quadratic equation we're gonna have two roots yeah one real number root and one one complex root of course write your thoughts in the comment below what do you think about this question what do you think about this um, about this uh, question maybe you have your your thought your approach your assumptions or write your, your comments and let's discuss a little bit about this about this type of question. So I want to say thank you everyone for watching. Uh, see you in the next videos. Have a great day and take care of yourself.